everybody. Good morning. It's Jean, Jean True Love from True Love Quotes for You. I'm sitting on my computer. I just decided to put my camera up here because I thought I was going to um, share with you guys um, a very interesting um, little history of something. Now, I had just put up, I believe in my last video, I just put up um, our block number one for our sampler quote for Jean's, uh, Jean's Block Party 2021. Such a simple, simple block. Um, quite a few people are enjoying it. It takes two seconds to make, I know that. But for beginners, again, um, for our sampler blocks to be able to make whatever you want to make. If you don't like making that, make it into a pincushion. <laughs> You can make anything. Um, Susan had such good suggestions. Doll quilts, um, baby quilts, pin cushions, placemats, um, and enjoyed my um, my suggestions. Excuse me. I, 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 excuse me. Oh, I have something in my eye. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. But I was just doing a little bit of history thinking, um, I hope my block party doesn't get boring like oh there's another tutorial you know me so i was doing a little bit of um searching around on the internet and i guess i guess it was about also about i don't know 10 years ago maybe i had gone to a quilt show one of my first ones that i had gone to when i had begun right quilting here. sorry 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 that's my husband there was um, an exhibition of um, what are called Dear Jane quilts. Now, if any of you have been quilting, you know what a Dear Jane quilt is. It is the ultimate of sampler quilts. And I just thought it would be a, f a fun thing to share with you a little bit of history of a Dear Jane quilt. I'm going to put up the picture of the original Dear Jane quilt. I'm going to put up that now. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of history how that quilt was actually made. Okay, so now you're significantly gobsmacked and you're thinking, what in the world, who in the world, how in the world? I just want to read this to you. The history of Jane Stickle. Jane Stickle was born in Shaftesbury, Vermont in 1817 and later married Walter Stickle sometime before 1850. Stickle did not have any children of her own, but she looked after at least three children in her neighborhood. In the 1860s, Jane Stickle was 43 and living on a farm alone. In this time, Jane was creating the Dear Jane quilt. She lovingly created the quilt as a, quote, reminder of the turbulent times the country was going through at the time. Jane Stickle carefully embroidered the words in wartime 1863 into this quote, into this quilt, end quote. Although there is little information found on Jane Stickle, the only information people have found is through census at the time. Jane was well educated, which is proved by her impressive needlework and creativity using geometry. Jane also won an award for her quilt at the Bennington County Fair in late September 1863. Mrs. W.P. Stickles for Best Patched Quilt. Hello. Would have been, uh, 
It, it, it would have been um, the, the, the uh, best of show, wouldn't it? It's no wonder Jane won the award with her unique design, with every patch being unique. 150 years later, and people are still recreating the historic quilt with their own adaptations and creations using bold, bright, and exciting colors and layouts. Um, the original Dear Jane quilt is on display at the Bennington Museum in Vermont, and people all over the world travel to see this quilting masterpiece. Now, um, I had gone to the quilt show back then, and I was, I remember looking at these quilts and being, or um, I, re I remember looking at the um, uh, reproductions of a Jane Stickle quilt, people's own take on the Jane Stickle quilt. However, there are patterns available to make the, pa the exact patterns of the quilt from Jane Stickle. Jane Stickle started creating the quilt during the Civil War, completed over 169 blocks in 1863. The sampler quilt comprised of 169 square blocks, four pieced corner triangles, 52 pieced border triangles, and a unique scalloped border. Although the original quilt contained a total of 5602, 5,602 pieces in this quilt. That is why this quilt has been well known and well loved. 5,602 pieces in a sampler quilt. I do believe, and I don't, don't quote me on this, I should have looked it up. I do believe Jane Stickle's blocks were four inches. <laughs> we're making a six inch sampler block and our first block was a four patch. It did not have 63,000 pieces in it, did it? <laughs> so I'm going easy on you, right? <laughs> Jane Stickle. I just thought that was very, very sweet. We're, if you are going to be following and making a Jane Stickle quilt, uh, we certainly are not going to have 5,602 pieces. But isn't it fascinating? And so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to, just a little bit of silliness. I'm just going to put up, again, on Pinterest, I had seen um, quite a few people had put up their their um, variation or their um, representation or their colorways of their of their Jane Stickle quilt. And I have um, to understand, obviously, most of these blocks that are in the Jane Stickle quilt, well, obviously they were hand-pieced by her. Uh, is it before sewing machines? Civil War? No, they might have had sewing machines. I don't know. When was the sewing machine invented? Perhaps shortly thereafter, the Industrial Revolution. But um, even if they had a sewing machine, she hand-pieced it. Now, that is sort of on my bucket list. I sort of want to go to Bennington Museum in Vermont. It's not too far from here, six, five, six-hour drive. No, eight-hour, eight, eight or nine-hour drive. And to see when things open up, I would like to do that. Actually see this quilt that has been preserved uh, 100, uh, 160 years later. Isn't that it? I just thought that was a cute little thing. Hers was done. Actually, when we think of them um, like the Civil War, again, I'm just rambling, excuse me, but I think of one like Civil War, Civil War reproduction fabrics, if you've been, if you've been around. They're like the, the creams and the browns, but, and her, her quilt is like that. It's, it's, I sort of, it sort of reads like tan to me, but again, there's pinks and there's reds and there's greens and there's browns, all intricately blues. I see tans, of course, gold. Of course, creams and whites all intricately pieced into this quilt. Amazing. Amazing. I just thought since if you're going to be making our sampler quilt, you want to get an idea of what a real true, true, original sampler quilt. 169 blocks, every single one of them, hand pieced with seriously maybe 20 or 25 pieces this big quarter of an inch, half inch in each block. Amazing, amazing. So I just thought I, I I was just fascinated with that little bit of history. I've seen I've seen people who've made these quilts before. And they are actually almost too difficult to take in. Modern day contemporary quilters who have made these quilts maybe take a year or two, six, seven, eight years to make amazing absolutely amazing there are books 
with her, I think with, I don't know if there are patterns for the quilts for the four inch blocks. Um, I'd have to look that up or you'd have to look that up. But it, if you want some more information, I just thought this was a sweet little thing to share. I'm fascinated since we're making a sampler quilt. And um, yeah, just thought you'd enjoy that. So I'll just put some pictures up of other people's Dear Jane quilts. We're making a Dear Jean quilt. <laughs> My simple little four patch. What did you think of it? Yeah, for you beginners. But yeah, so anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.